first day in shells, uh, you see a little bit of an uptick in, in tempo and uh, uh, some popping today? Yeah, the guys were excited. Um, first, The first team period we had, maybe a little too excited about having the pads on, and um, but you'd rather be that way than the other. I'd, I'd much rather have to tell the guys, whoa, 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 than giddy up. Uh, so I think they're ready to, to be a little bit more physical. Um, we've been playing the last two days in t-shirts, and now we put shoulder pads on, a little bit more like how the game's really played, and thought uh, thought the physicality started off the right way. We talked yesterday, I think it was, about changing the schedule and how it's allowed you to do some different things and off days and then mixing them in. A little bit shorter today, uh, does that spell a little bit longer, more intense practice tomorrow? Maybe a touch. Yeah, I mean, you know, like we talked about, the best ability any anybody has is availability. And so our practice plan and model is to kind of build up and then decel and take care of guys and recover at certain days and make sure that we're not running ourselves on the ground. I mean, we want to make sure we're protecting the players' bodies and, and making sure they're hydrated and eating and sleeping in the right amount. And so um, not want to make sure that we're not going to overwork. Now, we're going to get our work in. We're not going, we're not going back off too, too much. But when we need to, we're going to make sure we're taking care of, uh, of recovery. Now, speaking of recovery, Talk to me a little bit about the uh, trailer. Yeah. How they get started. Uh, well, um, you know, and we're in southeast Alabama, and it can get uh, – temperatures haven't been awful. The humidity has been um, pretty pretty um, legit, but the temperatures have been decent. But for us, we can drop that trailer to about anywhere from zero to 20 degrees uh, and run the whole team through it. Um, we take a break that's about seven minutes long and let everybody get in there and kind of – uh, get their body temperature brought back down a little because you know when your teeth when your helmets that adds to your body temperature your helmets and shoulder pads that's going to add even more to your temperature getting up and so the longer the practice will take two breaks the shorter the practice will only take one but we'll run the whole team through the trailer the guys love it i think i got day one i got more compliments about um that being here that i did anything a lot of guys were excited about the opportunity to go in there i've even gone in a couple times just to make sure it's working um, and it does get cold. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, I think it's helped us and helped us hopefully probably avoid some heat issues. pretty good it's been really hot but uh it was a good day first day in pads you know it was uh good to see as a running back seeing the blocks really set up and um you know run through the hole and you know kind of get hit it's almost hard to believe this is year three for you yeah. uh just for you you know from yourself what's your your development been like and uh you know where are you at heading into this season? oh yeah you know um i've learned a lot from my teammates you know uh, going against a guy like carlton all the time and uh Jaden and kj you know all the time just going against them is Really made me better. You guys got a pretty talented room there. Lots of oh, yeah. lots of guys. How how you uh, how the carries going to get spread out? Oh, I, that's not a question for me. But uh, you know, we we all push each other, uh, hold each other to a high standard, and uh, you know, it's really we've really grown as a room since I've been here. Antonio, another, another day, first day in pads. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great about it. I feel like both sides of the ball, offense and defense, uh, did, a, did a lot of good things. You know, obviously it's the first day, so we still got a lot of things to work on. But I still feel like, you know, we looking good, you feel me? So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the rest of the camp and for the season. You're a veteran on, on this defense. And there's a lot of guys on this defense that yeah. are veterans. How has that helped you guys in the camp? Or there's, you know, not so much learning, but you guys are just kind of fine time. Um, it's actually more of a big help than people probably realize. You know, with a lot of older guys on the defense uh, that's leading the younger guys, you know, it's a big help for for them as well, and also for the coaches. We take some stress off of them, but also to go along with that, uh, we got guys that know what to do, so everything isn't isn't panicky, and we can calm everything down and go at a good pace and just put in good work. A lot of talk in the offseason is about your side of the ball on the defense, and rightfully so. But 
Uh, the offense has, has looked pretty good through the first three days of fall camp. What do you see from those guys? Um, they definitely have. You know, they have a lot of playmakers on their offense. A really talented offense, if I uh, say so myself. And you know, a lot of people are going to see that during the season. You know, um, the defense gets a lot of credit, and um, like you said, but the offense is a really good, a really good side of the ball. A lot of talent and a lot of physical guys, and I feel like they're going to make a lot of plays.